אנו מכריזים בזאת על הקמת מדינה יהודית בארץ ישראל First time in 3,000 years that Jews have a strong national presence in the land of Israel. It's been a dream of mine all my life because I saw God as bringing us back to Israel and I wanted to be a part of that. My father was in the IDF and I felt that I wanted to follow in his footsteps. I felt the best way I could serve the Jewish people was through serving in the IDF. Serving in the IDF is not as glorifying as it's made out to be. The long process to get into the army and a lot of people have problems finding a place to live while they're waiting to draft. Once you get into the process, there's also all sorts of documents and bureaucracy. You don't necessarily um, have time to learn or to daven. And when you do that, it's very hard to keep yourself religiously inspired. A lone soldier is away from his family, he's away from his relatives, he's away from a yeshiva and from all support systems. And the loneliness that happens when you're off base is not something that's just easy to deal with. Leva Chayel's training program helped me go from thinking I would not get past basic training to thinking that I can do anything. The thing that I gained most was I think the fact that we were in yeshiva and in a yeshiva environment while at the same time we were training and preparing ourselves mentally and physically for what the army would be like. אנחנו לומדים הלכות צבא, והשאלה תמיד מה זה הלכות צבא? אני אציין למשל שאלות שאנחנו מתמודדים איתן בבית המדרש, למשל חייל שבא ושואל אותנו שבשבוע מלחמה מדמים באמצע האכילה נפילת טילים על הבסיס והוא ברגע אחד צריך לעזוב וללכת ולברוח ולאחר מכן הוא שואל מה לעשות עם ברכת המזון? I help them to contact the right people, sometimes not just the little people, but uh, the people who are on top, and to make sure that everything's being done smoothly. And they also help expedite the process, help me with all my paperwork, help me with things that were in Hebrew that I didn't really understand. Once they're in the army, make sure that they have a place to come back, that their house is ready for them, their bed is ready for them. I come home from base to a clean apartment. Another benefit is having a washer and dryer. I know that most Chayali Murarim don't have that, so we're very grateful. I always make sure to know who's coming back from, uh, from the army, to set them up for meals with families in the neighborhood, to make sure that they have a place to go. When I need meals, I eat in the yeshiva. If the yeshiva is not having meals, they stock our fridge filled with, uh, full of food. When you're having issues on base, if your commanders don't really understand what it's like to be a lone soldier, I had Rav Didi called my commander. He uh, actually explain my situation. To make sure that they get the best out of their army service. I have an advocate looking out for me even while I'm on base. I'm really happy with your Leva Chayal. I don't think there's any better way I could have done it. And I feel like I have my family here. Leva Chayal's program is the best program for religious living soldiers. I'm very happy to Leva Chayal. I think joining Leva Chayal was one of the best decisions I've made. Leva Chayal! Leva Chayal! Leva Chayal! Leva Chayal! Leva Chayal! Leva Chayal!